Good morning. Thanks so much for everyone uh, coming this morning. We're excited that you're all here. My name is Mary Bauer. I'm the Interim Director and Curator of Collections with the Evansville Museum, and I'm delighted to welcome you. I do want to acknowledge some special guests who are here with us. We want to thank especially the county commissioners who made the decision to give Vulcan Man to the museum. Mr. Troy Tornada is with us today. Troy, thank you very much. I, don't, I didn't see uh, Mr. Melcher, but Mr. Stephen Melcher, we want to thank him, and we want to also thank Mayor Lloyd Winicky. Our current county commissioners, again, Mr. Stephen Melcher, Mr. Joe Kiefer, is Mr. Kiefer here? We want to thank him. And Ms. Marcia Abel. We especially want to recognize Mr. Jim Sanders for his generous gift, which made possible the restoration and exhibition of the Vulcan Man. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Tom Lonberg, the museum's curator of history. Thank you, Mary. It's been a great project working on the restoration of Vulcan Man in this whole downstairs area. We're quite pleased we are now interpreting Evansville's history in a more fully realized fashion. Where you're at now, we look at early Evansville from the days of Hugh McGarry, and if you had the opportunity to look at other areas of this level. We look at Evansville from 1900 through our heroic efforts during World War II. So we're very pleased we can look at our proud city's heritage, including in southern Indiana, the heritage of Abraham Lincoln, which we are opening this morning, our new Abraham Lincoln exhibit. And we're especially pleased that Barb and Jim Hebron can join us this morning. Her family is a descendant of the family that has historically given us the Abraham Lincoln corner cupboard, the Lincoln letter, and most recently a fireplace crane that all relate to neighbors of Abraham Lincoln. And we appreciate their attendance and their generosity, their family's generosity to the museum over the years. And I'd especially like to recognize Bob Zazadny. Bob, if you would raise your hand so folks can see who you are. is an artist from Oakland City, Indiana. Bob spent countless, very warm hours last summer restoring Balkan Man uh, outside the Evansville Museum. He put very much tender loving care into that. If you saw Balkan in the old courthouse over the years, it was nice that he had a place to stay, but he was in need of some help. And Bob restored his hand and put all the parts back together again. And we thank Bob very much for his efforts and certainly appreciate all of your coming this morning. Mary. Thanks, Tom. It is now my pleasure to introduce Honorable Lloyd Winnicky, Mayor of Evansville. Lloyd. Thanks, Mary. It's always great to be uh, at the Evansville Museum, one of Evansville's uh, best uh, cultural assets. You know, from the late 1800s to 1957, uh, Vulcan Man, this nine-foot statue, uh, sat atop one of Evansville's largest manufacturing facilities, the old Highland Plow Works. It was later known as the Vulcan Plow Company. Uh, originally known as uh, the Roman god of fire and later the god of foundry and metalworking, Vulcan was the trademark of the company and a statue landmark in our city for many years. Now for riverboat travelers of the era, uh, saying Vulcan from the Ohio River meant, you, uh, meant that you had landed in Evansville. It was the next port of call, if you will, along the Ohio River as it sat at the corner of Northwest First and Ingle Streets. So certainly an important site uh, for those traveling the weather, uh, uh, river. Following its many years of uh, exhibition in the basement of the old courthouse, the Vanderbilt County Commissioners gifted Vulcan Man and his attendant plow to the Evansville Museum in May of 2009. And today, as Evansville continues to grow and move forward, this restored statue is indeed an impressive reminder of Evansville's proud past. And as mayor, it's my pleasure to be here today to celebrate the unveiling. That's great. So with uh, no further ado, we would like to invite Mayor Winnicky. Uh, the artist Bob Zadney, um, our president uh, of the Board of Trustees, Steve Crone, President-elect Sharon Walker, uh, Mr. Tornado, if you'd come forward too. And if there are any kids who would like to come and help pull down the curtain, please come forward because we invite any children who are present to help with the unveiling too. Thank you. That's great. We're going to do the ceremonial count to, uh, I'd also like to invite the, the Mosier family who I met this morning. Their father was a superintendent of Balkan Plow for many years. If you'd like to help pull down the curtain, I think that would be most appropriate. And we'll let you make your way to the curtain. If you grab the black rings up above you, maybe the clips themselves, 
as opposed to the ring. Just pull down as hard as you can and it'll come down. I'm gonna to count to three. It's a traditional way we'll do it and we'll, we'll see Vulcan. One, two, three. Wow. Thanks everyone for coming. Please look around at all our exhibitions. The museum is opening up just now, so we invite you to come and look through all of our science, history, and art exhibitions today. Thanks so much for joining us. That's some bigger than me.